In this short video on the economic order quantity model, I will show how it's derived and used and consider some of the limitations behind the overall approach. Two fundamental issues concern us in inventory management. How much stock should we hold and when should stock be ordered? And in balancing these two questions, we have to take into account the overall inventory lot size, replenishment lead times, stock outs, reorder points, as well as safety stock. The vertical axis shown here is the quantity of on-hand infantry at any point in time. The horizontal axis showing its evolution. Quantity Q is the initial on-hand inventory that is consumed at the steady rate of demand D. When the on-hand inventory is completely used up, a replenishment order of Q is received that is again reduced over time at the constant demand rate. This pattern repeats itself over time. Note particularly the assumption of constant demand throughout. At the point of zero inventory, it is assumed the replenishment order of Q is received immediately and all at once. This pattern of order receipt is also repeated over time. In order to receive the order exactly in time, it must have been placed earlier with enough lead time to cover the demand over the delivery period as shown. Extending this point to the demand curve shows us the level of stock and the reorder point that will trigger the order to the supplier. We are now in a position to derive the economic order quantity model. In order to do this, we need to know the demand, the purchase cost per item, the fixed cost per order, the inventory carrying cost, and the overall order quantity which we're trying to derive. Total inventory cost is equal to the carrying cost plus procurement cost of the individual item. This is shown here in this equation. Differentiating this cost equation with respect to TC, then setting this derivative to zero, enables the minimum cost to be found. Rearranging this equation on the right and solving for Q gives us the economic order quantity model. This example shows an economic order quantity of 23,000 cans and a holding and carrying cost both equal to $231, which is expected as holding cost balances purchase cost at the economic order quantity point. This is illustrated here, where annual cost is shown against the order quantity. Holding cost rises linearly as the order quantity increases, whilst ordering cost is inversely proportional to the quantity Q. Sketching the total cost curve, we can see that it reaches a minimum where the holding cost is just balanced by the ordering cost. At this point, we have the economic order quantity as shown. In this model, fixed quantities Q are placed that are equal to the maximum inventory held. Furthermore, there are underlying assumptions of constant demand, fixed lead times, and order and holding costs that do not vary. 
replenishment orders are received all at once, and at the precise moment the last item of on-hand inventory is consumed. As can be appreciated, virtually none of these assumptions are true when one considers the real world of inventory management systems.